everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Wednesday the 23rd, October the 23rd and today I'm going to start with the secret language of colour and um, yes, okay, so I'm also being reminded of someone else's theme suggestion which was, um, oh gosh, uh, it was something to do with how we can know and trust that we uh, can experience all of these things that we talk about, the trust and the love and um, the peace and all those good things and that was from Carol McAllister thank you Carol for that um, so okay so trusting in our divine trusting it's our divine birthright to have those things okay so how can we know that let's have that for Wednesday as our um, question for today's angel hugs how can we have a real sense that we have the right to those things and even as I connect with the vibration of that question I already know that, of course, it's our divine, our divine birthright to have those things. Okay. Nourish your body and soul. But I also know that having the experience, the knowing of that on an ongoing basis can be challenging. And that can be as a result of the things we've experienced and the beliefs that we've adopted as a result of those experiences and the things that we continue to believe and continue to, to tell ourselves about life and the way it is. So this says, uh, the colour is chocolate. Nourish your body and soul. And I still don't know why chocolate is the card for nourish your body and soul, but I love it. And, and I'm gonna say, okay, raw chocolate. I've just started eating raw chocolate again with made with um, coconut oil, organic, raw, um, extra virgin coconut oil. And um, it is a really magical food, but that isn't what I'm getting to. I feel as if it's kind of saying, you know, if we have any doubt about whether we can love ourselves or whether we deserve to be happy or to feel good, one way to really get into a, a visceral, tangible sense of that knowing that we deserve good things is to really look after our bodies, to look at what we put into our bodies. I know that there will be times when we don't do that and it's not a judgment call, it's not saying you should do this or you should do that because we're all human, we're all you know um, frail and fragile and, and what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, imperfect. So, but if you are looking to have a sense today, Wednesday, of knowing that it's your right to be happy, to have love, to have joy, to have all of those things, start by giving yourself that message through the love, the care and the, the attention that you give to your body. So you can actually build that up to become a habit. Build it up to become a habit of, okay, I'm going to indulge myself today, but not with, you know, um, toxic foods or with uh, unpleasant, uh, addictive experiences, but I'm going to give myself high quality raw chocolate which is full of nutrients and full of of good vibrations good energy and i'm going to give myself more raw food and more treats and i'm going to lavish attention and care on myself and i'm going to do some yoga or pilates and i'm going to meditate and i'm going to just be conscious of my body as a physical being that has a consciousness and i'm going to talk to it lovingly i'm going to love it i'm going to love it Practically, I'm not going to sit around having a concept that I should love myself and love my body because I've been told to. I am going to be involved in the physical act of loving myself. Please don't misunderstand that. Um, so that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye.